Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Edgematica 2 Expert Mode series. I am just crafting up the last elemental affinity reagent. Um, this wasn't difficult at all. Um, all these things were really easy and required just a little bit of will. Um, the only one that threw me for a loop was uh, this air sigil because I didn't realize it needed a reinforced slate. <laughs> the other two need a uh, a blank slate. So I was I kept trying to make this and I was like, why is this not working? And uh, I realized that was a reinforced slate. But uh, yeah, we got our elemental affinity reagent. So I think that is everything for the upgraded. Uh, altar here. We'll get our top tier altar. Yep, there we go. That's that. And it is so helpful having a celestial crystal. But, uh, yeah, because you can do it's not even night and we had like a full thing. But, uh, there we go. There is the iridescent altar. Now it has some more i gotta do more um building i believe it just puts arches on this so i don't actually have to expand it anymore which is kind of nice i think i don't actually remember the exact layout but i'm pretty sure <laughs> need to get that uh sorted the radiance is a radiance Yes. No. Nope. All right, where? Man, I have such a hard time finding where the layouts are. Kind of annoying, actually. There it is. Right, yeah, so I'm pretty sure you just have to add not any wider it's just these blocks right on top which uh what is that One, two three four fifteen twenty blocks so uh, let me do that and see if we can get this uh, up and running here okay we are back and that should be yes all right so when the thing pops up you know you got it right so yeah didn't have to expand it just had to add some more marble but uh all right there we go there is the top tier and we can see this actually adds a extra thing over here and uh, you may see on the recipe there is a constellation so basically we're gonna have to attune a crystal to that constellation we'll put the crystal in here and that's what that is and we also need to add an extra item there. We're going to have to deal with that. But uh, yeah, so I've got everything we need here. I can actually throw this in this chest. That's what I did, just to get it out of my inventory. Um, I got everything, all the other stuff. The only thing I need is void metal. And uh, we're running into a problem is I need to get void metal. I do not have it unlocked. Uh, the research in Thomcraft yet. So I am going to have to get into some, the, I need to unlock the Eldritch tab in the Thaumonomicon. Oops, wrong book. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't have Eldritch unlocked. So I'm going to have to go find a cultist, I believe. Isn't that how you unlock that? And I'm going to have to kill some cultists. I think you need to get the, don't you need to get the rights? Crimson Rites or something like that. Yeah, there's no there's no recipe for that. But uh, I figured I'd finally upgrade this Iron Broadsword. Um, I just did Supremium. I don't know if that's the best, but yeah. As we can see, durability goes from 268 to 6,000. Attack to 1683. So, uh, yeah. I'll take that. And we could even throw a whole bunch of... Another quartz on it if we want. Um, 
Sure, why not? Um, I need to. I don't have any recipes for that. Unfortunately, I will just throw this in here manually. There we go. There. Do I have looting on this? Probably add looting instead of all sharpness. I didn't think about that. So, sure. I don't know how much. I'm going to need a few hundred if I remember <laughs> correctly. Although, now that I'm doing all that. <laughs> I don't have any room for my lapis. I think that'll be good for a little while. Dolly. Another quartz I just did. That's two. I think you need like 360, don't you, isn't it? Could be wrong, though. All right. So that will do that. Now, also, I can get some zombie brains. These give us temporary warp, which might help spawning the crimson dudes. So we'll try that. Yeah. All right. So how many did I do? About 40. Was it 40 blocks? But uh, there we go, 19, almost 20 attack damage. Yeah, that's a little bit better than <laughs> the old one. Just clear my inventory just a bit. Won't because it is full. That I haven't used in... I don't remember the last time I used it. All right, so let's head over to... Let's head over to um, the desert. It just kind of helps with the no trees so we can see if it spawns. Don't know. Oop, a little bit of lag. Okay. Can I eat these continuously? I don't remember. No. Um. Trying to think how I would need to. I guess I could like set myself on fire, kind of thing, or I just need to take damage, basically. So I can keep eating this stuff. I'm barely, I'm barely taking any damage. Uh, that's kind of funny. All right, there we go. All right, we gained some warp, so. That may have helped a little. All right, so actually these husk things are actually pretty good to drain my hunger, actually. Where all those... Where all those mobs go? Is there like a ton of mobs, right? I don't know. That was weird. Alright, uh, this is... Oh, we're getting te temporary warp. Uh, let's take a look at... What did we... Got that, many believe, blah blah blah. Yes, a sanity checker will actually let us see how much. Um, but I do need... I need to get that book, basically, and that unlocks the Eldritch tab. So let me, we'll continue kind of doing this. I'll keep eating this. It's giving me temporary warp. And that should help in spawning these guys, I believe. Doesn't it open up like a little portal? I think that's how it works in Thumbcraft 6. So uh, we'll be back and I'll let you know. I may, I may craft up a sanity thing here. help 
Uh, see how much sanity I have or war power I have. What is that? Oh, is that a quantum? <laughs> Looks like a quantum thing. That drop tear steel. I have plenty of stuff like that though. All right, we'll be back. All right, we are back and. I have actually, I scanned one. Um, I killed a bunch of them before, but I couldn't read the book. Um, but now I have, man, I don't know if the blindness is from my temporary warp or something else. I'm, I think it may be from this. Does, does blitzes blind you? I don't know. Something keeps blinding me. But, uh, all right. So we got that, and uh, it unlocked. It said research unlocked something, something. Nope. Maybe need to. S yeah. So like that. Where, 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 where is that coming from? What is it? What is attacking me? <laughs> I don't know if it's my temporary warp or not. All right. We are way far away from there. Ah, there it is. All right. So we got that. All right. Cool. So much of this, blah, 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 but it seems. Oh, we still haven't. Do I need more? Wonder if I need more warp. Okay, I'm back in after a little bit of googling. Um, I found out you have to discover Oromancy. So I did the couple little things. I need to craft up a caster's gauntlet to unlock that. And as we can see, we got delving into the Eldritch. Examine something native to the void. Now, if we look at the research table, we actually have this popped up now. I'll examine a curio, um, and there is the the rights book. So we'll turn that in and uh, see what we get. Don't really want any of these, but that's the easiest. Fusion, alchemy. Right, this one will give us some progress. I kind of want the Eldritch to be the top one. But I don't know if there is an easy way to push for that. No, see now, fun. Oh, Romancy is number one. Hmm. All right. I don't know. We'll see. I need to. Yeah, I didn't get anything, unfortunately, that time because it was all kind of all over the place. Um, I don't know if that. No. Um, I don't know if there's any way to push for Eldritch stuff. So, uh, yeah, I got to figure that one out. All right, we are back and did a whole bunch of research. And I think I need to, I think I needed to scan a rift and some flux. So I just threw a whole bunch of armor into the cauldron. Um, if you look at a diamond chest plate for example it has what is that three four hundred almost five hundred aspects on it so i threw a couple in there and uh got a whole bunch of flux so i have gone ahead and scanned this i haven't looked to see what uh i was hoping this would <laughs> do that uh apparently you need to like scan a void seed, which happens when these close, and I'm not quite 
sure what causes that yet. Um, like I said, I've never actually done this part of Thrumcraft 6 before. I'm kind of learning as we go. Um, but apparently when these close, they have a chance of dropping out Void Seeds, is what I've heard. But, uh, yeah, I can't... I've been yeah, trying to get um trying to get the research. Apparently there is a something uh, I could never remember the name of it. I've looked it up a few times. This thing, casualty collapser. So I cannot I haven't been able to find the research for that, but uh, I'm trying to do something with this. So we'll come back. All right, I didn't realize I actually had a thing up here, so there is let the flux build, so we'll complete that. And there we are, flux risks, as I suspect. Observations of the blah blah blah, even though I can't get close to them, maybe I can keep some way of keeping them stable. I have already scanned it, so... Is that, is there... Nope, still nothing new. <laughs> oh, bad! I hate hidden stuff like this. Um, it's fine once you've done it, but... Uh. Alright, so what do I do now? Who knows? Rarity of the Chaos Burst depends on the size of the rift, even though I can't close them yet. They also grow more unstable over time, and eventually this instability causes them burst. All right, I guess uh, we'll just <laughs> I'll just keep going here. All right, it's actually been quite a long time, and the rift actually disappeared. Uh, I don't know when that happened, but sure did. I'm trying to. I don't know what I'm taking damage from. Ah, Taint Poison. Um, alright. Let me get the back so I can throw this in. Oh. Vidium V? Did it, I think it dropped that Vidium. Crystal, that was a bit weird. Um, well, since this is water, I can't really see... All right, it's not, I don't think it like damaged the actual, I think it was just that thing that was causing that. But uh, all right, was that, just curious, was that uh, what we actually needed? Nope, <laughs> still not. All right, it, I think it needs to be a void seed. So uh, I've been, like I said, I've been doing a lot of research I've opened up a whole bunch of stuff with the flux, and uh, I finally found the closing flux rifts. I had to do some infusion, so I did research for infusion. I did some olomancy even. Uh, I got Brayden in a jar because that is... Well, I haven't got it yet, but uh, this is what uh, you click on. Oh, look at that. That's what you... When you want to do research in the thing... The brain in the jar is what does Eldritch. So I did that, and uh, something popped up. I don't know. At some point, all this stuff popped up. Um, I believe you. I also have to scan one of the crystals, and there's a whole bunch in there. So uh, I scanned, I think, five of them. The only one I didn't get was Perdicio, I think. But I got all the other types. So, oh, I'm probably Aqua. So, Perdicio and Aqua I didn't get, but oh well. So, yeah, did that and uh, realized um, I think we're going to have to to get Void Seeds. You get them from those Rift things, closing the Rifts. So, um, we're going to have to get this Casualty Collapser. So, 
I have gone ahead and done all the research for that and uh, it's an infusion recipe. So I've done this so many times and I actually just did it not that long ago on my interaction series. So I didn't bother uh, recording any of that, but uh, yeah, here we go. I've gone ahead and got the Essentia Smeltery over here and the, um, the Alchemical Crucible or whatever it's called over here so I can craft up these stuff. So I need some Elementum. I just realized I don't have Dishio, um, cobblestone is usually, I don't even remember. Giant cobblestone. Yeah, I guess we'll just do, cobble doesn't have a lot on it. That's the only issue. It only has one, but eh, it's cheap enough. I don't feel like looking to see if there is a better one so I'll just do 30 because you do lose a bit I don't know what speeds it up but uh yeah there we go all right that it's actually already been taken out over there as we can see Went in there and there is the two elementum so yeah that's just kind of how i set it up uh this can do automatically transfer within 16 blocks i didn't even count so one two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah they're fine and this one can pull from 16 blocks in that direction so i'll probably do if i need more I don't know how much more we're going to need of bombcraft, to be honest. So, all right, so there is that. Um, what's kind of very high? I might need some more candles to stabilize. I might do two more colors. I was just working through the colors. Yeah, let me grab I don't know about in It doesn't even need to reach the <laughs> the thing either, which is kind of funny. Right. I think it's just, uh, yeah, I didn't think it, I couldn't remember if it needed a, oops, I couldn't remember if it needed a, arcane table. All right, so let's do lapis. Work. So I'm going to do this. Let me grab the some of these and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we are back. I don't know if that actually made a difference. I thought that said the same before. Maybe I need to just update it with the, the thing. But uh, yeah, added 10 blue and I think 8, eight red. Um, we need 50 Vintium. Uh, Vitium, which uh, nether wart, and fifty alienus, which is ender pearl. So easy, easy enough to get. So there, there. Right, I think we are ready to do this, and I'm probably going to need multiple of these actually. But uh, there it goes. I just didn't. I hadn't had it. Uh, Oh, there it goes. So it upgraded a 1.4 gain per cycle. So I think we should be good. Because it's up to 1.6 loss per cycle, I think. So we are plenty good. And I could even speed that up. If I want to with the... 
the thing. I'm in a bottle. But uh, this one's pretty quick. Alright. So there is that. We don't get a quest for it. No, I never crafted those. I was like, I know I have these. I never crafted that. Yeah, I'm not really worried. Um, I do need to... Let me craft up one more night tour. I guess I need to cause a rift again. I, I really don't know if this is like the intended route. But uh, this is the way I'm going, so we'll see. Need some armor. Let's really cause a rift. Maybe I should go a little farther away. Also, I probably should have slept, but... How about right on top of this house? We should be fine, right? wonder what that thing is over here. Yeah, there's not much flux over here, even after I did that whole craziness. Alright, there we go. Lots and lots. That should cause a... Uh... Yeah, it should cause a, a rift. All right, there we go. There is the rift. So I think, oh, let me go sleep really quick. Should have done that before I started recording. Uh, I believe we just throw this thing at the rift and it should close it. I what I've read is correct, and then we should get void seeds. I don't know. We are just testing it right now. And yes, there we go. All right. <laughs> so we got some void seeds. Uh not many. We only got four, but apparently that is how you're supposed to get them. Um, feels a bit odd. But, uh, I don't know. Apparently that is what you're supposed to do. There we go. And you finally got that. So we are... We finally opened the Elvridge things. Void Seeds. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of research to see if there is a possibly a crafting recipe here. And, uh... What's giving us weakness? Is that just the flux, flux poison or whatever? Maybe we got, yeah. So I'm going to do uh, some research, see if there is a thing. And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back next episode. Hopefully we'll get that. Um, we'll get this going, our singularity, because we need to get this going. Um, haven't had a chance to do that yet. I kind of ended up doing all magic today. But, uh, yeah, we'll come back and uh, see if we can one step closer to crafting up the ultimate ingots and then crafting up our first creative item anyway that's gonna be it for this episode so thanks for watching and have a good one